This year at IAC, the IAF and the Australian Space Agency are proud to present the IAF International Astronauts Chapter, one of the most inspiring programs of the Congress. It brings astronauts from government and industry face to face with the public, offering first-hand stories and insights that spark curiosity and guide the next generation of explorers. And of course, I couldn't let them pass me by, so I'm going to go chat with two of these astronauts about how they came to accomplish so much. Let's go. Here at IEC, I'm the president of the Association of Space Explorers, and this is an association that regroups all astronauts and cosmonauts in the entire planet. The uh, criteria to belong to the association is to have done at least one orbit of the Earth in a spacecraft. So, it's, uh, so I'm representative of uh, that group because I am an astronaut and I flew in space twice. The day that they call you to, to tell you you've been accepted changes your life forever. And, um, I flew four times, three on the space shuttle and once on the Soyuz uh, to the ISS where I spent seven months commanding Expedition 14. I wanted to ask you about the IAF International Astronauts Chapter, which brings astronauts together from different backgrounds. Why is this important and what comes out of these meetings? Well, like the Association of Space Explorer, the International Astronaut Chapter of the IAF is trying to give people an opportunity to hear share the astronaut perspective of people who have had a chance to go above the Earth, contemplate our planet, fly in space, uh, participate in the great endeavors uh, of our time. So it is a way of sharing and, and of, uh, of having people a chance to meet astronauts in, yeah. in, in every way. So with the ASE, we work closely with IAF to make that happen and to have as much of a diversity as possible. Well, I think uh, they've done a nice job sort of blending activities that are culturally interesting for the astronauts yeah. while also taking advantage of their presence to sort of spread the good word, if you will, throughout the country or whoever the host country is. And here in Australia, they've done a really nice job, some pretty interesting things that they've been able to do. How would you say the astronauts chapter is supporting the development of new astronauts? I think uh, big time. It's just like anything in life. Yeah, yeah. It, it, kids, when they look at people and what they do, they might find a passion. They might find a journalist. They might find a, a, a fireman. They might find a teacher. Really interesting, and that's what they want to do. So today, astronaut is a profession. You can become a professional astronaut, and you can fly in space and, and do science and research up there. And people look at astronaut and uh, maybe it will sparkle an interest yeah, for, for the sure. future. At least to study yes, science yes, and yes. technology. Of course. And what message would you give to those who are dreaming of becoming an astronaut? Dare. Go for it. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> Dare to dream. You never know what life has in store for you. There are things we don't control, like for example where we were born, what we look like, pretty much. Mm -hmm. But there are things we do control and one of them is our education and the effort we put in to having all the tools that we need to fulfill our own dreams. Mm -hmm. The good thing is that we don't ha all have the same dream because that would be a really boring world. Yeah, so but if you have a dream and if your dream is to go to space, then pursue that dream, go to school, work hard and apply when there is a program of recruitment for astronauts. Was there a moment that you can pinpoint where it felt like you made the right decision becoming an astronaut? Was it when you got that call? Every day when I wake up in the morning, I feel that. I mean, I, I, I couldn't have told you when I was a young boy that that would be my calling, but having had the fortune of being able to do it, I feel like it was what I was made for, so I, I feel blessed. Follow your dream, not your parents' dream or your siblings' dream or anybody else's, but your dream. Pursue it with passion and let's see where the road takes you. Thank you so much for your time, Michael. My pleasure. Mm -hmm.